Welcome back to Kicking It Back. Today is Sunday, September 26th. We got a little bit of a change of pace today, not a full episode. You know, we figured we'd give you guys some time to catch up, but we still wanted to say what's up. Uh, P-Dog, tell us a little bit about what this little little video is going to be about today. So we kind of just wanted to thank you guys and honestly, like, give you guys an update of everything we have going on. So, like, basically on a week to week basis, we don't talk about everything that goes on behind the scenes pretty much. Basically, like Instagram, YouTube, everyone, how many followers we're getting, things like that. And I feel like that's a big part for you guys that like listen every week because that's kind of cool to see us grow. Obviously, you support us. So it's cool to like update you and see how far we've come since the beginning. And we're about six months into this. So I felt like this was a good point to update everyone. For sure. Couldn't agree more. Give us a little stat. Come on. Give us the number one stat you got from kicking it back so far. All right. Well, let's talk about the audio version because most people that's how most people listen to us. Honestly, I don't think people even knew we had like a YouTube until like a couple weeks ago. Not many people did, at least. We, we've been getting better at promoting it. So that's what the whole point of this is. This is going to be a YouTube exclusive, right? You're watching yeah. this on YouTube. You will not hear this on our podcast audio. Yep, for sure. So I'm going to go with the biggest stat. We've had 3,900 downloads. And that's Apple Pod, Spotify, Pandora, all different. Any audio, that's that. That's unreal. I mean, I didn't look too, too into the states and all that. I know we've been streamed, I believe, in every continent. So I think that's a pretty cool little stat. I didn't look, like I said, I didn't look at how many states and whatnot. But, you know, like I said, that like you kind of mentioned that that's our main folk. You know, that's where most of our viewership has been coming in. So it's been kind of fun, like watching those numbers. And like we said, like Colorado, you know, maybe someone in Colorado is listening to this right now. It's a little weird that like people like that, like we were talking about with Maddie, like it's weird that those demographics you reach and, you know, for almost 4,000 streams in six months, I mean, one of the biggest knocks we got early on was like, you know, you guys won't even make it past five episodes. It's just a lame podcast. You know, we're still doing it. We're chilling out. We're hanging out 4,000 downloads. Come on. What's better than that? Yeah. Like seriously, we're just two like average guys that just started a podcast and for 4,000 people to listen to us through the audio version is insane to me. Like I I don't know 4,000 people. So that's like, just For imagine sure. all those random people that I had never met that just listen to us weekly. Yeah, that's crazy. That's so that, sick. Without a doubt. And then, like you said, we're growing the YouTube right now. So we're yeah. a little over 1,200 YouTube views. I mean, I don't know how many how many episodes is that total. Like around 25-ish we're getting to the bar, yeah. right? Yeah, I think so. I so. think our next one will be 25. So that's pretty cool. Uh, you know, YouTube, like you said, we're going to try to put more of an emphasis on growing that. Uh, that's part of why we're doing this. We're taking a break off, letting people catch up on some episodes. The zooms are actually, I feel like helping the YouTube because it's yeah, a better definitely. audio. It feels more engaging. You could see everything. It's louder. I think that's a great little part about the YouTube so far. And then we also are going to try to start doing a little bit of vlogs on YouTube. We're going to, we're going to slowly get into that. We're going to, we're going to, you know, we're not promising anything yet, but we're, you know, we're going to work with what we have. You know, parents weekend, check it out. Columbus, Ohio. We're going to have the parents now. We're going to try to do a little vlog. See, we see the behind the scenes with the parents. Yeah, for sure. And I think it's kind of cool that the YouTube's really starting to grow because of just how many different things you can do with YouTube. Like you said, we can do the vlogs, the editing, like there's all different pop-ups and stuff that happen throughout YouTube. Like you're seeing right now, like there's probably a pop-up going on right now. So there's just many different things you can do with YouTube. I think it definitely can be more engaging at times. Cause we can always like interact like Jared and I are interacting a lot more here. You can see us hand movements, things like that. Audio is great. Yeah. It's convenient on the go, things like that. But if you have time sit down watch the YouTube, like you are right now, I think it's a great experience overall. And you also throw in some pretty funny edits and stuff in there that kind of, you know, makes me giggle at least. I don't know about the viewers out there, but you know, so, you know, pressing, pressing, like we said, has been taking care of all that YouTube stuff. If you've been listening, he's been doing all the video stuff. He actually has been doing an awesome job. We both, you know, I'm doing the more audio side of it, but like we both have kind of, like we said, just went on YouTube and learned how to do things. Like I said, I had a little bit of an upper hand because Madeline's always cutting music and whatnot. So I was able to kind of learn the audio stuff without actually like fully YouTubing it. I obviously had a YouTube some stuff, but you know, so like I said, like we're, we're growing it. Like you, you mentioned, we're just two average dudes, you know, just, you know, we're just, we're just kicking it back, having fun. I mean, that's what this is. I mean, we're not doing this to Maybe, obviously, maybe one day it brings in some money. Maybe we're, you know, doing this for a living. That would be unreal. But like right now, we literally just started it. Just, you know, why not? That's the thing. Like if we want to, why not? I'd rather say we did it and it didn't work out than did it, you know, never did it at all. So, yeah, hopefully we're entertaining some people. Like that was the whole goal of this, just to have fun and entertain. Like that's kind of what we like doing. So kind of uh, a root off of that is our Instagram. We love the Instagram. What do we have? Almost 1600 followers. For sure. That's playing all kinds of games. Six months. Yeah. Yeah. I, I personally loved Instagram just because of the interaction. How cool it is when random people DM us saying, like, keep going, guys. Like, this is awesome. 
Yeah. Like it is so cool when people just like hit us up randomly, just keeps us going. Yeah. It's, it's truly fun. Like engaging with viewers, you know what I mean? Cause not everyone I'm going to say on the Instagram is listening every week. I'm going to, it's just a real honest answer, but like, you know, we, we do the over under that's a popular game. People on Instagram, you know, are, you know, we're debating over under people are sending in topics. People are answering the hypotheticals. You know, the one that Johnny asked us about like what movie you would live in. That was freaking awesome. I actually was going to share a bunch of those answers. I think we still can. It's just so cool to like, cause like it's relevant stuff in the minds of average people like yourself, like you're just at home, you know, we just talk, that's what this is. It's, you know, we're not, we're not celebrities by any means. We're not superheroes, but damn, we love having fun with everyone. And that's kind of like the point, just to put a little good in the world. Yeah, for sure. And it's cool with the Instagram, like, Let's say you don't have time one week to catch the full podcast. All right, go on our Instagram and look at the highlights of it. We post the clips of every episode. Like, I, we understand people are busy. You might not have time to listen every week. Listen every once in a while. Mm -hmm. Just give us, you know, just keep up on the Instagram. It's great. Couldn't agree more. Yeah, and then along with the Instagram, we also have the TikTok. That's slowly been going. That takes, you know, TikTok, I think, is an interesting platform because it doesn't take actual good content. It takes one good video to blow up, and then you do the good content after that. Yeah. So, you know, we're going to try, you know, like we said, it's more of the, I would say it's a lot of the similar videos that are on the Mm -hmm. Instagram and TikTok. But, you know, we, we like to put some of the good takes. We like to hype up the videos, you know, hype up the episodes, you know. It's 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 fun. Like we said, it's 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 a little bit of work. Preston's been doing the TikTok stuff, but it's like we said, we're just doing it just, to, you know, it's another kicking it back platform. Yeah, for sure. I, I think TikTok, it's going to be like if we if or when we blow up on TikTok, it's going to be like that. I think it's like an overnight thing. Like like you said, it's one video and it like puts you on the map. Uh-huh. Like it's different with Instagram. Like you slowly you have to like interact with people, grow it, expand, have people share your stories, things like that. TikTok, literally, you hit the algorithm and you're you're huge. For sure. I couldn't agree more. So we'll just keep on working on that, too. Yeah, that's what we're doing. That's all this is. Yeah, for sure. So do you want to give people the big news? Yeah, I, I mean, I guess. Last episode, last episode, we talked about we made a purchase. OK, I'll lead it into that. I'll let you give the fun news. But last episode with uh, Maddie Hildebrand, we talked about how we made a little purchase at the end. We didn't say what. We can, I think we're kind of in a position now we can kind of announce what, what we bought. So, P-Dog, tell the people. We bought a fucking domain. Let's <laughs> go. Kickingitback.net. Spelled that just like the podcast. Yep. That is officially our website. It's not yep. live yet. It is actually going to be live Monday, October 4th at 8 p.m. Yes, sir. That's, that's some exciting stuff right there. Yeah, we, we actually, you sat down with Howard gross uh, investments. You know, he, we tried figuring out what the next steps were. He, we were originally talking LLC and then he said, you know, I think you should go more the domain route at first, just get that taken care of and then see where that takes you. So what's going to be cool about the website is you're going to be able to learn more about us. We're going to be able to put all the links, you know, all that kind of stuff. But one of the cool things we're looking forward to now is our merch drops. So originally we just dropped the two classic hoodies and tees, nothing crazy. People love the gray one. People are loving the gray one. I feel like I get a lot of good feedback about the gray one, but now we're, we're rolling into stuff where we're going to get hoodies with relevant content from our show. We, you know, we got to, you got to step outside the box. So one thing we have coming, we have the underrated hoodie. It's been getting lots of love on Instagram. We have the baby blue and the khaki. We might have a special colorway. We're going to wait and see. Oh, we're we're, we're oh, working man. We're going to see, um, hopefully you guys see it and let us know when you see it and then we'll talk. Uh, but you know, we're, like we said, we have some cool stuff coming. So we're planning on that on Monday, October 11th, eight o'clock do the merch yep. drop. You'll be able to buy everything right through there. There's no Venmos this time. I mean, this is all what growth is. Hopefully yeah, we're going to be able sure. to take care of everything right through in there, you know, shipping, all that kind of stuff. You know, that's one of the positives about buying the domain. Yeah. I'm super excited. We're like, Almost officially done with the website. We've been designing it. It's going to be awesome. You guys are going to love it. It's going to be so sick. I'm so excited. Dude, I'm I'm excited for the underrated hoodies. I'm going to be honest. I think they're badass. I think the colors on them. Mm -hmm. Insane. I promise you're going to look so good in them. So good. What's cool about the underrated hoodie, you could wear it with anything. So you could wear it with jeans out to the bar. You could do whatever you want. You could wear it under a flannel. It's just a cool look. So, you know, like we said, we're going to we're going we're gonna to figure out the colors and all that kind of stuff. We don't have prices yet. We're still figuring it out. But we love the underrated hoodies. The people like the underrated hoodies when they see them. So those will for sure be in the drop. Oh, it's going to be great. October That's 11th. Awesome. Stay yeah, tuned. For sure. For sure. Yeah, I don't I don't know if we have a whole lot more really going on in this episode. I feel like that was the bulk of what we wanted to cover. Um, yeah, I would say most importantly, you can find us uh, 
our Instagram is just kicking it back with an underscore after it. Super easy to find that one. Um, our TikTok is kicking it underscore it underscore back underscore podcast. Or you just look up kicking it back and it's the top one that comes up. There's not Boom. many kicking it backs. And then, um, yeah, I think that's about it, right? Yeah, no, I think like the biggest thing that I think we both can say we've taken from this so far, I'm going to speak for both of us because I, I know we've talked on this before. I think one of the biggest things, obviously, anyone makes, I've said this before, is we all think we have time. You know, there's a lot of time in the world. So Preston and I, we took, we went out of our comfort zone. We started a podcast. We knew nothing. We've said, we've said this multiple times. We had nothing. We knew no one. Just do it, man. What are you, what are you waiting for? If you're, it, I'm not saying a podcast, this could be skydiving. This could be pursuing your dance career in Los Angeles. This could be opening up your own financial investments firm. There's so many different ways. This could be honestly an Instagram business. You know, we've had so many different cool people on and the same thing that's been with all with us and all of them, they've taken a chance. You know, they've done that one thing. They didn't care what people thought. They just did what they felt they needed to do. I think that's honestly something that we all can take from this, no matter, you know, if you're a kicking it back fan or not, I think that's just a valuable lesson in life. You know, stop thinking you have time. Just go do that thing now. You know, Tomorrow's not promised. I know it's cliche, but it's the truth. So absolutely. I totally agree with that. You hit that totally on the head. Like I don't have anything more to add to that. Other Thanks, than <laughs> yeah, no problem. <laughs> other than just thank you guys. Like without sure. you guys, none of this is like possible. Like people always say this all the time, like famous people, they're like, Oh my God, thank you so much for all your support and things like that. And you just I honestly when people say that, I kind of just think like, oh, they have to say that. But like being in this position now where people are kind of listening to us, I'm really thankful you guys do. Cause if you didn't, we wouldn't really have a podcast. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So like each and every one of you, thank you. When you reach out to us on Instagram, I read all of it. Like it's awesome. So cool. Positive, negative, all of it. Read it all. I love it. Yep. We send it to each other too. So if one of us opens something that we're not sure, it'll be like, Hey, go check out this person's DM, you know, it's, it's fun. I'm telling you what, like, I'm super glad we did this. I know, like we said, we're not huge yet. We're not trying to act like we're huge, but you know what? We're, we're, we're doing it. At least we're doing it, man. We're having fun. I mean, what else can you ask for? You know, I don't know. For sure. And just this, my thought. Is, this is more than I could have asked for in the first six months. You're telling I, me, man. Like I never thought we'd have a website. Preston asked how many views I thought we were going to get on our first episode. I said, I bet you under 50. I didn't think (laughs) that skyrocketed. I was blown. I So from the get-go, I've been out of my, you know, way over what I thought we were going to get. Yeah, it's crazy. It's really cool to go from like having a Google Doc for the merch to like a website. Like, come on, Mm -hmm. are you joking? Like, I think when we released our first podcast, we had maybe like two audio versions, Spotify and like what, Apple Podcasts. Now we're on every possible audio version out there for sure yeah it's just super cool the growth thank you guys yep couldn't agree more appreciate you all hey preston by the way did you know elephants are the only animals that can't jump p-dog take us out thanks for kicking it back preston and jerk peace out